Well, good evening, friends. I'm Matt Williams. I'm the director here at Skylake, and it is great to have you with us on this lovely Sunday evening, the first Sunday of Lent. It is the 21st of February, year 2021. So let's get started with some songs about animals. Well, just one, and it's about a bear that I may or may not have seen out in the wilds of uh, an imaginary place, because I actually haven't seen a bear. But we're gonna sing about it like we had. So it goes like this. The other day, the other day, I saw a bear, a great big bear, oh, way out there. The other day, I saw a bear, a great big bear, oh, way out there. He looked at me, I looked at him, he sized up me. I sized up him, he looked at me, I looked at him, he sized up me, I sized up him, he said to me, he said to me, why don't you run, I see you ain't got any gun, he said to me, why don't you run, was that bear and so I ran away from there but right behind me was that bear ahead of me I saw a tree a great big tree oh lordy me ahead of me I saw great big tree, oh lordy me. The lowest branch was ten feet up. I'd have to jump and trust my luck. The lowest branch was ten feet up. I'd have to jump and trust my luck. And so I jumped into the air but I missed that branch oh way up there and so I jumped into the air but I missed that branch oh way up there now don't you fret and don't you frown cause I caught that branch on the way back down now don't you fret and don't you frown Cause I caught that branch on the way back down This is the end, there ain't no more Unless I meet that bear once more This is the end, there ain't no more Unless I meet Alright, this next one does have some motions to it. Um, hopefully you all are, uh, you know, ready to do some motions. We've got a couple of them tonight. And it goes like this. I'm a little hunk of tin. Nobody knows what shape I'm in. I've got four wheels and a running board. I'm a Ford or I'm a Ford. Honk, honk, rattle, 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 crash, meep, meep. Honk honk, rattle 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 crash, meep meep. Honk honk, rattle 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 crash, meep meep. Honk honk, rattle 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 crash, meep meep. All right, so we're we're gonna go uh, up to second gear now. Uh, I'm a little hunk of tin. Nobody knows what shape I'm in. I got four wheels and a running board. I'm a four door. I'm a Ford. Honk honk, rattle 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 crash, meep meep. 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 
Oh, that seemed more like third gear, so let's just go to fourth gear now. I'm a little hunk of tin, nobody knows what shape I'm in. I got four wheels and a running board. I'm a four door, I'm a four Hong Kong, rider, 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 crash, meet me. 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 Oh, well, this car only had four gears, so now we're going to go into reverse. I'm a little hunk of tin, nobody knows what shape I'm in. I got four wheels and a running board. I'm a four door, I'm a four beep beep, crash, rattle, 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 honk, honk. Me, me, crash, rattle, 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 honk, honk. Me, me, crash, rattle, 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 honk, honk. Beep, beep, crash, rattle, 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 honk, honk. <laughs> oh, you never know what you're going to get when you're doing that port song. So, hey, thanks for joining in, everyone. Excited to see so many of you here this week. Uh, let's continue on with uh, Allelu, 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 Alleluia. So, you have the choice of either being the Alleluia's or the praisey the Lorders. Okay, so if you choose to be a Halle, uh, uh, Allelu, Allelu, Alleluia, you're going to stand up or at least raise your hands when we sing that part. And if you're a praisey the Lord, you're going to do it either stand up or just raise your hands when we sing that part. And every time it's not your your turn, you're going to sit down or lower your hands. So we're, we'll 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 get some exercise in here tonight. Allelu, 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 alleluia, praise ye the Lord. Allelu, 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 alleluia, praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, alleluia, praise ye the Lord, alleluia, praise ye the Lord, alleluia, praise ye the, the Lord. Let's do that one more time. Hallelu, 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 hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Hallelu, 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 hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Oh, fun times, fun times. Well, moving right along, because we are walking in the light, we're going to sing about walking in the light. Again, you can either choose to be uh, group one or group two. And group one's part goes like this. Walking, walking, walking in the light. Walking, walking, walking in the light. Walking, walking. And it just keeps going. And group two is like this. Walking in the light. Who we, we can trust each other. Walking in the light. Who we, we can see ourselves. All right. So let's start off with group one. We'll sing that through one time. And then group two, you come in. Walking, walking in the light, walking, walking, walking in the light, walking in the light. Who we, we can trust each other. Walking in the light, who we, we can see ourselves. And then we stop and we sing, it's a sad situation. Scared. It's a crazy mixed up world where there's nothing to fear but fear. Woo! One, two, three, four. What do you think these feet are for? Walking, walking, walking in the light. Walking, walking, walking in the light. Walking in the light. Who we, we can trust each other. in darkness forget about the day it's a crazy mixed up world we're hoping oh 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 and and i let's let's start that one over again we 
always walk in darkness forget about the day we're afraid to face our problems we're hoping they'll go away Woo! one two three four what do you think these feet are for walking 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 in the light walking 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 in the light walking in the light Ooh we we can trust each other walking in the light Ooh we we can see ourselves so finally we pull our heads out of the sand there's light and warmth and sunshine and it's never dark again Woo! on the toi cat what do you think these feet are for walking 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 in the light walking 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 in the light walking in the light Ooh, we, we can trust each other Walking in the light Ooh, we, we can see ourselves Walking, walking, walking in the light Walking, walking, walking in the light Walking, walking, walking in the light Walking I hope you can hear the fire. It's got that nice low crackle this evening. So, well, friends, we are a couple minutes away from our, our standard pause for prayer time. And I think God will forgive us if we if we go to prayer just a few minutes earlier than normal. It turns out God's, God's cool with that. Um, because we normally stop at 1947. Uh, and many of us do that every single day. We just pause and give thanks to God for this place that we know and love as Sky Lake. Um, but the next song would take us well over it. So uh, I want to do both. So let's, let's do what we do when we pray and join, us, join me in a spirit of prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for nurturing our souls through times like this through gathering across the ethers to be part of this campfire and part of this place we love. Whether we've been here a few days ago or a few years ago or a few decades ago, we know of this holy place and we have experienced your love in places like this all over. Let me give you thanks for the comfort that brings us when we encounter hard times out in the other parts of the world. We pray for all those who are cold tonight, who are dealing with just tragedies of health, of weather, of all those things which cause us great stress. And we ask that you might use our hands and feet to nurture those people, to bring them back to life and light in you. And we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. And, okay, there we go. I forgot to put this in here. I have the new portions. Go tell it on the mountain for our Key of D medley. Peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace 
runs like river in my soul. Oh, I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry.
I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Put it on a lampstand for everyone to see. Put it on a lampstand for everyone to see. Put it on a lampstand for everyone to see. Let it shine, let it shine. the key of D medley. And let me just stoke the fire a little bit. Okay. And now, a couple readings. The first one from Genesis 3, 19. And I'm reading from the King James Version because I, I, I'm one who, who, who just can't hear this particular verse without it being the King James Version. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return the word that draws us closer to God. And then from the United Methodist Baptismal Covenant, will you nurture one another in the Christian faith and life and include the persons being baptized now before you in your care? <sighs> so it's been another adventurous week, uh, both here at Sky Lake and around the world, and in particular our our friends and family down south who have been dealing with some really, really tough weather. Um, we're we're kind of used to the snow and cold, and our infrastructure is used to the snow and cold, so, you know, we don't have to worry about real deep freezes uh, wreaking just total havoc. Unfortunately, um, that's not the case for our friends down south. And so uh, I think of this, this first week of Lent and, and, and what, we, what we do during Lent. And I am reminded that on Ash Wednesday, we often hear that passage from Genesis. The passage that reminds us that we are dust, we were made from dust, and someday we'll, we will return to dust. And in that in-between time, those of us who are baptized into the Christian faith are called upon to nurture one another, nurture the members of our community. It's almost like a, a form of stewardship. God gives us this community to help people. And I'm reminded that part of the United Methodist community is United Methodist Committee on Relief, UMCOR. And I'm reminded that one of their, their measures as they go into a community after disaster is they don't have a lot of PR. So we don't always hear about the tremendous work that they're doing. Um, but they gauge the number of years that they will stay in an area is determined by the number of days that area has been without power and major infrastructure. So already we know that many parts of Texas will have uh, teams, coming from UMCOR for years to come as they rebuild. And that's, that's pretty incredible stuff. And as part of this, we of course heard uh, a lot about windmills and, and wind turbines. And so I just wanna make sure that we are all on the same page 
when it comes to what we call which so my my ancestors in wales i have and one line of my grandfather's family is a line of mostly men because that's who was working in those days men who worked as carters on the isle of anglesey or ennis mon and many of them and in particular one my fourth great grandfather was the carter of the thin on mill and kind of the the far end of the island and it's this beautiful windmill it's like this white look just like starch white uh windmill with those old uh arms that that catch the wind and within that windmill they would grind grains that were grown there on the island so that's a windmill a windmill is anything that catches the wind and and uses it to to operate machinery right there on site a turbine is something that is similar to windmill but very different because it collects the wind and converts it into generally electricity and and that gets sent elsewhere and part of the reason why that's so important for us to get the terminology right is because something happened here this week but it really began about six years ago when we were approached about this idea of a wind farm coming into the area around sky lake and the initial engineers looked at that at parts of our property and said this would be really great to include in in our wind farm and so over a few years we we, we worked with uh, lawyers and with the conference trustees and we eventually signed a contract that makes part of sky lake uh, uh, there'll be turbines on the property of sky lake that will be part of this wind farm and i'm reminded of that this week in particular because the initial parts of the project be commenced here on site and that included taking out a lot of trees to create the pathways for the turbines that we be, will be built and so um, it's it's a bit of a shock the first time you drive up here uh, if you haven't been here in a while or even if you've been here recently it will be a bit of a shock to see just how many trees have come down and i've got to be i've got to be frank there's a bit of me that's a little sad we love trees here at sky lake um, but, uh, you know, a hundred years ago, these trees weren't here. These trees were not here because most of the land on top of this mountain, or it's really a hill, but we love the legend that it's a mountain. So we're going to go with that, uh, was arable farmland. And so, uh, as K Willa Sharp Kilmer purchased up the property, he, he planted or he hired people to plant lots and lots and lots of trees so that it became reforested and even though we're losing a fair amount of trees we're still we still have massive amounts of of trees that continue to produce oxygen and, and take co2 out of the air and all the good things that trees do so it's not like we've clear cut the whole property but it also reminds me of of lent and this idea that from dust we are made to dust we shall return. And this idea of nurturing people and things within our community because we want to be good stewards of them. This is a, a, a major project that will produce electricity to be uh, taken to homes all across this region. And it's a greener energy. It's an energy that is better stewardship of our resources around us. In about 20 years, the turbines become carbon neutral. It's really, it, it, it's cool to think that um, we, are, we as a community and as the site are contributing to, to greener energy. But it's gonna, we've gotta get used to that. And, and it's almost like we're giving something up so that we can take something on. And Jenna and I were, were talking yesterday and we realize that as some of those trees come down, all of a sudden, 
it's allowing sunlight to hit trees that have normally been partially shaded by, by the trees that are being taken down. And isn't that like what we do during Lent? When we thin out parts of our lives so that we can make room for the light of Christ to shine brighter in our lives. Lent isn't about just giving up chocolate or taking something on. It's about reevaluating everything, like our baptismal vows. What are we to do with them? We are to take them, to make them our own, and then nurture, join together with others to nurture a community. And one of the ways we do that here at Sky Lake is through summer camp. And another thing that made this week so like whirlwindish for us is that we received word that, that this summer we can do camp. <laughs> uh, we understand that it will be at limited capacity and we await word from New York State about what that means, but it's, we're doing camp. <laughs> it's so exciting. I'm, I'm like, I, I haven't really had dealt with the feels of that yet, but all of a sudden they're, they're right here. It means we get to bring campers back this summer. Now, it won't be the same as we've had in years past, but right now we don't really care about that. What we, what we all desperately need is that moment to gather here and to be in community and to feel nurtured, to feel our souls filled and to be around other people. We'll do it safely, we'll follow all the guidelines, but we are doing summer camp. Whew. And we are coming up on our one year anniversary of doing these campfires every week. And they have been, I know I've said this a ton of time, they have been so life sustaining for me and for Sky Lake and for many of you. And we also realize as we, we reflect on what it means to be stewards and uh, on, on uh, what it means to be good stewards of our time, is that as we um, move forward, we are doing it weekly until we hit the one year anniversary, which will be the second Sunday of March, the 14th. And then we're gonna be backing away just a little bit. But we're not backing all the way off. Oh no, no, we are still going to continue to do these campfires uh, the second Sunday of every month. So we're going to continue weekly for the next what three weeks, and then uh, after March 14th, we'll go the second Sunday of April and the second Sunday of May. And I imagine that these will continue for for a long time to come. It just won't be every week. But that allows us to, to, to allow some other light to shine into the programs here at Sky Lake. Because from dust it came, and to dust we will return. Sometimes we have to give stuff up to allow the light of Christ to shine brighter in our lives. Whether it's giving up some trees so we can be part of greener energy, whether it's giving up some of our, our own personal resources to send help to people uh, just dealing with devastating weather down south, whether it's uh, giving up doing weekly campfires so that we can focus on doing actual in-person campfires with campers this summer. Whatever we do and whatever you do in the weeks ahead during Lent, I pray that you will allow those things to allow the light of Christ to shine brighter in your life. That you take your baptismal vow seriously to, to end the things which pain God in this world. And that you use those same baptismal vows to build people up so that they can see the light of Christ shining brightly through you. Thank you, friends. It has been a whirlwind of a week, and I am so glad to be spending some time with you here tonight. And I thought it'd be a great time to sing the old, old Wesley hymn, And Are We Yet Alive? And one of the verses goes 
What troubles have we seen, what mighty conflicts past, fightings without and fears within, since we assembled last? <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's, that was this week. And are we at a line and see each other's face? Glory and thanks to Jesus give for his almighty grace.
other words I, 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 I let you know we are gonna do summer camp so stay tuned for more details on that to come out over the next couple of weeks um, in the meantime get your bake sales bake sale orders in before Thursday the link is in the description well it's if you click on the link tree and then click on the box that says Skylake bake sales you're gonna go and see what all Kevin is whipping up for us this week um, I know that I will be ordering, I should limit myself to one pan of Kevin's famous uh, chocolate peanut squares. Yes, limit myself. It's, it's Lent. I will, I, will, I will limit myself so that I can allow the light of Christ to shine more brightly through me. Yes, that's it, that's it. Um, also, uh, again, we are going to be partnering with Church in the Wild to do a uh, virtual camp service for you that will be available for you to share with your congregations um, before Sunday, uh, April 11th, um, probably a few days before. And you can use all of it or parts of it. That's up to you and your congregation. But those of you who are clergy, this is a great opportunity for uh, someone to kind of take over for you the week after Easter. We want to celebrate you and celebrate camp at the same time. And of course, you can always sign up to come hike here. Well, actually, right now it's snowshoeing or cross-country skiing. The snow is a little too deep uh, to, to walk through. And as I truly experienced on Thursday, it's just a little too deep. But anyway... Join us for our virtual mini hikes Tuesday and Thursday, and we're still doing weekly, so we will we'll see you back here next Sunday evening for our Sunday evening campfire. But before we go, let's sing about um, God being our vision. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart, not be all else to me save that thou art. Thou my best thought by day or by <coughs> Okay. We're going to start over, and I'm going to just lower it down <coughs> just a little bit, and maybe I won't start coughing because I pitched it a little too high. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart, not be all else to me save that thou art. Thou my best thought by day or by night, waking or sleeping, thy presence my light. Be thou my wisdom and thou my true word. I Child, thou in me dwelling, and 
you friends for joining in and for being part of this tradition. And I pray now that you go forth and that you weed out those areas of your life that need a little thinning so that you may better radiate the love and light of Christ in this world. And with that, I bid you good night. Good night, dear friends. Lay down and take a rest. Lay your head upon the Savior's breast. We love you, oh, but Jesus loves you the best. And we bid you good night, good night, good night. And we bid you good night, good night. Good night, friends. Take care.